You can also simply go to the Express Tools tab up on the top here and go to the Command Aliases prompt. By clicking this button, it's going to bring up the alias editor within AutoCAD. Now this is somewhat newer in AutoCAD. So if you're on a very legacy software, you're not going to have this command. Or if you don't have Express Tools installed, you may be missing it. You also have the ability to track down your ACAD.pgp file, which is the uh, command alias file. And it's going to be a notepad or Word document, a TXT editable file. So simply open that up and you can change these aliases that way, doing it through the old method. If you're on a legacy version, I also have videos about that on my channel. But in most newer versions, you're going to have the alias editor. In here, you can simply scroll through and find the different command aliases and what they correspond to for the full command. You also have the ability to add and remove aliases within your own software and this is going to customize your AutoCAD. I do have a tendency to change some of my own. I'll typically change C to copy and you can do that by clicking the edit button and going to the alias you'd like to change. So I can type in C here and then I can simply give it a command. I could type in copy and then hit OK. And that's going to change my C command to copy. This is a great way to save time within AutoCAD and is probably the quickest and simplest way to customize AutoCAD to work for you and not against you.